You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Um, I guess we can get into this Sarah Spain uh, let's, thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, there was a video clip here. It got removed, but it is over here on OutKick. You see here. ESPN host Sarah Spain calls Ray's players bigots for not wearing gay pride patch. Now, I have done the videos on the Rays and the pride patch. I don't believe you actually touched this, Rhodes. I find it to be very, very divisive to actually even go down that road. The NFL tweet now stuff is not even NFL season. I believe all of this is really a virtue signal to tell you the truth. I've got a theory that half the people in the league, in, in all leagues, don't agree with this shit. They just, they just keep their mouth shut. Probably yeah. because a lot of their agents have told them, keep your mouth shut. Uh, but that's, in itself, that's a problem. I mean, these people, these players, and I, I look, uh, Enos Cantor Freedom is not the only NBA player that feels the way he does. No, he's, he's just not. vocal about it. But he's lost his gig over it, too. Hey, Kaepernick, yeah. that's what blackballing looks like. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and the video was there. But this is what Walt Sarah Spain had to say on Around the Horn. I used to love Around the Horn many years ago. Many. She says this, quote, this is what tends to happen when frivolous class isn't affected by things. Spain begins. That religious exemption BS is used in sports and otherwise also allows for people to be denied health care, jobs, apartments, children, prescriptions, all sort of rights. We have to stop tip tiptoeing around it because we're trying to protect people who are trying to be bigoted from asking from asking for them to be exempt from it. When the very people that they are bigoted against are suffering consequences, you say trying to be bigoted, close quote. Now, Rhodes, I'm pretty sure you know some um, people, a part of the alphabet community, right? Absolutely. We now, all do. When, when I worked in the corporate world, I, I got to be honest with you, probably 30% um, of my entire workforce was part of the alphabet community. Really? Oh, yeah, a bunch. Yeah, a whole See, bunch. See, when I worked in oil and gas, nobody brought in their sexuality. That stayed out of the office. Well, but I, I mean, do you, know you just knew it. <laughs> Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you just knew it. Like when I was in when I was in military, we had on my ship one guy that was clearly gay. And this is um doing the don't ask, don't tell thing. He wasn't even hiding it, he was gay. But it really wasn't a thing. And also, you know, um, I don't know when Pride Month became kind of a mainstream thing. I, I, I really don't know when that actually happened. But I said before. I'm going to say it again. I would never participate in Pride Month. That's, that's not my thing. If you want to go out and do it, so be it. But I don't think that people that say, hey, I don't want to wear this patch. I don't believe they should be demonized for not wanting to wear the patch. It's wrong. They're, they're attacking these players, because, mainly because of their religion. Let's just call it what it is. Christians are under attack. Unless you bow down to the alphabet mafia, you're going to be demonized. And what they said, they never said that they were against these people. They never said it. Not for one second. They never said it. Why should these players be forced to push aside their belief set, particularly when it, it ties to to their religion, why should they be forced to push that aside for these people's agenda? Why is that okay? Uh, I mean, can somebody actually explain that to me? It you you want me you want me to push this agenda? 
so why is it okay to push this agenda? My my agenda, my personal belief set. Why is that okay for me to push that aside? Exactly. I mean, what's the deal there? You know, somebody somebody has yet to actually explain that. Yeah. You know. Can, I mean, can just play. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, you're you're good. Uh, well, okay. You know, I mean, I look. We've got a bunch of atheists. <laughs> let's let's keep it real. Let's just peel back the Jason Whitlock curtain right now. <laughs> we we got a bunch of atheists running around pushing these bullshit agendas like this. Well, in it's, our not, face. It's, it's not just some atheists too. Uh, well, that's if you, true. If you if you look at the fake Christians like a Joe Biden or Nancy Pelosi, Raphael Warnock, they they, they good call right there. They they are more into worshiping that flag. And I'm not talking about the American flag. I'm talking about the alphabet mafia flag than they are their religion. Their religion is wokeness. They're all about this. They they will demonize you if you actually um uh speak for the Bible. I mean, does anybody really believe that uh Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi actually um live by the Bible? Raphael Warnock, does he actually preach from the Bible? Nancy Pelosi? No. Really? Did you see the article that came out about her husband yesterday? Shit, I meant to make a video about it. We'll just talk about it right now real fast. She's supposed to be Catholic. She's supposed to be religious and all this shit. Do you, did, they have been living a open lifestyle for years and years and years. I did not hear that. Her husband, yeah, it's a known fact. Her husband is all up in some. So they were Will Smith ass, and Jada. Okay, they were Will yeah. Smith and Jada before Jada and Will then. Uh, I, wow. And, and and I've got a theory, and this is purely speculation for all the assholes that might want to sue us. But it's awfully odd that I nobody can seem to get a hold of the damn dash cam footage, the arrest footage for Paul Pelosi. And I can't get a hold of a mugshot. Isn't it sort of odd? All these guys out there that can pull in this stuff, these sources, nobody can get a hold of that. I'm just wondering, when he got arrested the other day for DUI, is it possible when he had that wreck the other day while he was uh, under the influence, is it possible because Nancy Pelosi was a long way out of state? that we haven't seen anything coming from that because he might have had another woman in the car. Hmm. Don't be preaching to me about this is religion. way early in the morning. It was like, what, two in the morning or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had been out partying. How come we haven't heard? At, look, and y'all are preaching to me about all kinds of shit. No. Nobody's trying to live your lifestyles, man. Quit trying to push... Quit trying to devalue true, true, actual, solid morals, values in this country while y'all are living y'all's bullshit, shady-ass life out there and trying to act like wow. you're perfect. Joe Biden should have never in a million trillion years run for president because of Hunter. I mean, you dumb shit. You didn't think that was going to come out? <laughs> yep. I mean, come on. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.